Now, I'm fascinated by airplanes. Aviation is an engineering miracle, a form of divine engineering. You know, Alain de Botton beautifully talked about the awe-inspiring rapture one feels when one bears witness to the power of a jet engine, to the power of a flying machine. And I remember the first time I saw the A380, this hit me home. But Alain de Botton says nothing prepares you for the sense of agility and self-possession of a jet airplane. No structure of comparable size, a building or a cathedral can compare to that feeling of, of, of freedom, of exhilaration that that machine promises. You know, he talks about walking through a corridor that will lead you onto a craft that will take you somewhere where no one knows your name. It becomes a kind of ontological journey. It becomes a journey of self-realization, of soaring above one's limits. You know, the jet airplane literalizes the human goal of transcending our limitations. It's always a symbolic journey. Airlines don't realize this. People talk about how the enchantment of flying, the magic of flying has faded and people are so bored because they're closing their windows. They're afraid to look out. They're afraid to bear witness to what is possible. Look at the appeal of those screens in the airports with the promise of destinations, of spaces of happiness, places where the answers might lie. You know, Alain de Botton beautifully talks about it. It's like, think of the, the imaginative allure of Paris, of Amsterdam, of the Czech Republic of Cape Town. Oh my God, these places sing. They sing to us, they beckon. This is the power of these transcendent machines and we need to just ah, open our eyes a little bit. You know, this is a, a daily reminder every day of what's possible. This is who we are. These are our technological skins, our scaffoldings. We have wings, people. We may be flawed, stumbling primates, but when we work together, we are primates that can fly.